I want to talk to you today about building your own elite crew. There's a magic number involved in this. It's five. So you may think that sounds a little crazy. But you want to start building your network and your community up. Let me tell you a secret. Now, all those big name guys that you hear that are making tons of money, fixing my phone, they all have their own little elite crews. They could be boards of advisors, they could be trusted friends that get together. Let me tell you about this elite crew that you want to gather. You want to go out and start networking any way you can. And you want to build trust and friendships. Everybody knows when you hang out with richer people, people, blah, blah, blah. When you hang out with richer people, you become richer. You start learning. Let me tell you, you go to these different networking groups and different meetings, you know, whether they're board meetings or, you know, different things. And you find people that are, have the same mindset as you. You can tell immediately, okay, I can really get along with this person. I need to get more information off this person and, you know, maybe trade information and we can become friends and start hanging out with them. Say, hey, why don't you meet up with me with coffee? Always bring a notebook and a pen with you. And they ask you, why do you always bring a notebook and a pen? Say, I'm always networking. I'm always learning things. I write things down as soon as I can. You know, and you build relationship and you, while you're doing this and you explain things to them. After you get, let's say, 30 or 40 friends this way, you don't even have to go that much. Sometimes you know instantly. You're going to pick the top five people. And you're going to pull them into your little circle. No, you're still friends with all these other people, but you have your inner, inner circle growth. And these five people, they have different areas of uh, achievements and success. They have different areas of uh, their careers are different and they have different types of knowledge. And you tell them, I want us to start meeting, like, you know, once a week, maybe 20 minutes over coffee. And they start brainstorming some ideas together. You know, maybe we can start doing something you, you get them together and you start banning things together. And do these brainstorming sessions whenever you can. Do you do it with them singly or when you have them all together? <coughs> Always kind of make it so that you're pulling this group together for a reason. And let me tell you, when you have these top five people that you picked, you'll start growing. You're going to start learning things, and maybe you guys will start a business together. And maybe down the road, another business, business opportunity comes up, and you are the perfect six people together. You know, or if you only get four people, and you're the fifth person. However you do it, but five is usually the magic number. Let me tell you. And I'm not, I don't use magic, so I'm not a magic person. But I'm just using that word. You know, it's just a, a, a per, the perfect number for pulling your little inner circle together. You know, when you do this, you're going to start brainstorming on ideas. And you're going to start talking about things. And before you know it, you're going to be like, oh, well, we could do that. And you start getting these ideas in there and you're like oh well we can add this to that and before you know it you could become a serial entrepreneur you could be doing lots of little things and building so when you see some of these richest people in the world they have their inner circles and they brainstorm ideas with them and of course the bigger they grow 
the bigger their ideas grow. Now they've done it here, they know they can do it bigger there. You know, you slowly start building up. But networking is the key to finding the perfect people to fit in your inner circle. And of course, you got to be able to get all of them to get along with each other. So their personalities got to kind of match. It may take a while. But I'll tell you, even if you have that one person that you guys can just bounce ideas off of, you know, go hang out at the kitchen table with a couple drinks or a couple sodas and start bouncing ideas off of each other and write them down. Don't just sit there and talk and jibber-jabber back and forth and then let it fly out your mind. No, write it down. Say, oh my goodness, I gotta write this down. Oh my goodness, I gotta write this down. And then next time, hey, remember that idea? Well, this is what I thought. You know, these are the pros and cons of it. Or this is where I thought we could add this. Maybe we should try this. And things start to grow. And sometimes you need a fresh eye to look at some of your ideas that you just have not been able to figure out. Or maybe you need a fresh eye to look at your goals and say, you know, this goal here would be a lot easier if you do it this way. You know, sometimes when you start brainstorming with another person, another two people, another three people, and you start doing it on a regular basis, it becomes a team membership thing that you just keep going with, you keep doing. You want to look, some, look for somebody with leadership qualities. You want to look for somebody that's really business savvy. You want to look for somebody that uh, likes to get into all the little nicks and knacks of, you know, the computers. And you want to look, you know, start looking for different people. And, you know, it, it helps a lot if your personalities match a lot. And sometimes, you know, you get friends and they disappear after time or whatever. But eventually you will build your own inner circle, your own inner group of people that is really going to be very trustworthy and you're going to build something off of that. And once they get that feeling like, oh, I see where this is going, let's keep at this, it will happen. So I like the brainstorm. So I had people that I call on the phone and it's like, hey, I got an idea. You know, let me pass it by you and see what you think and what are your thoughts on it. Or I come up and say, oh, I have a problem. I need a solution. <laughs> Can you help me out? You know, those kind of people, they have the mindset for either fixing things or they have a mindset for building things bigger. And you create that perfect dynamic. So nowadays it's because I travel I do a lot of my brainstorming over the phone. And I have certain people that I do that with. And I know they're good with, you know, questioning you. Well, what, why is this? And how can it be that? And, you know, once you start thinking about these things, you start writing them down and scribble, scribble, you know. All of a sudden, things begin to expand. It will change your life. It will change your business. It will dramatically change how you think about things. So you might want to try, you know, bringing a lawyer into your group or a bank manager into your group, you know, however you meet these people. And you'll meet different kinds of people along the way. I had a preacher one time, took me to a network of CEOs. He saw that I had that mindset. He's like, you got to go to this. And I was like, Wednesday morning at 6 a.m. I'm like, who meets on a Wednesday morning at 6 a.m.? Huh. I was really impressed. So it was some big-time CEOs and some big-time presidents, you know, of local companies. And now there was also some Amish guys in there. There was Amish guys had their own businesses and their businesses were quite big. So I was really impressed. I got to meet a ton of people. I wasn't quite awake yet and the coffee was not the best, 
but I enjoyed it and I took a ton of notes. I got to meet people from almost every category of life and it was fun. You know, when in the first, you know, 10 minutes was like a praise and worship system, you know, uh, praise and worship to God and little ministry part. And then the rest was all them doing this strategy where they would bounce ideas off of each other. And I was so impressed with some of the ideas that people were coming up with. And they were like, oh, we meet every Wednesday. Just come on in at 6 a.m. I was like shocked. Now, of course, I moved right after that to Florida. But I know where it is. And I know what time they hold their meeting at. So I could go back there now that I'm visiting Pennsylvania. I met some very interesting people. So you might have to just, you know... Put the question out there. Put it out on your local Facebook group and say, hey, does anybody, you know, meet up to do stuff like this? Or anybody would like to go for coffee and, you know, maybe talk about starting a group? You'd be surprised. People are going to answer it. I went on a local Facebook group one time and I said, are there any local... YouTubers in the area that would like to do a YouTube meetup. I had a whole list of people that started throwing, oh, this person YouTubes, this person does it. Go on and check them out. And I did. I went on and I checked them all out. They were all awesome. They were a lot bigger than me. <laughs> and I didn't get a hold of any. I did leave comments on every single one of their, their videos, though. I'm in this area and would love to do a YouTube meetup. They never got back to me, but that's okay because I'm still building and, but I'm excited about it. You know, these little things will change your life. Just these little get togethers, you will meet the most interesting people and they will keep you on your toes. And you know what? You think, oh, well, I'm just a housewife who paints furniture, you know, go check them out. You would be surprised. You'd be like, huh, I'm glad I met you. There may be a reason for you to meet that person. And you never know. You might just have the perfect personalities that it's like, oh, okay, this person could be my next best friend. I'm going to write his name down and his information down and see if he wants to go meet up for coffee. You know, you just keep doing it and keep networking. You'd be surprised where you can meet people. You could be standing in an elevator and brainstorming on your notes. You know how many people will look over your shoulder to see what you're writing? They all do. People are nosy. <laughs> Seriously. Start talking to them and be like, oh, this is this. I, I'm, I'm meeting people to to come up with ideas to brainstorm for this. They might throw an idea at you right off the top of their head that will just blow you out of the water. You'll be like, huh, why didn't I think of that? You need to come come into my little group and start, you know, sharing ideas. We network together. And once we network together, we also help each other's businesses. It will change your life dramatically when you start doing this. Build your elite crew. And it really doesn't matter how many you have in your elite crew. It might be one other person. I have one person I love to brainstorm with her. I call her all the time on the phone. She calls me. And we start brainstorming. And we talk a couple of hours. And next you know it, ideas are just flying out of both of us. We're on the same wavelength all the time when we talk. And I enjoyed that dramatically. I have another friend. I like to call her with my little problems. Because she's Mrs. Fix-It. She's really good at coming up with solutions. And not only that. But she's helped me tremendously. With my YouTube. She, You need to do this. Look, did you see what you did there? Go on. You need to fix that. She, She's... The, just one of those perfect persons and I get along with her beautiful you know it's 
you you build your connections and when you build your connections your businesses will grow you're, you you may start a new business adventure with somebody that you never knew that you would. So start building your elite crew. Start brainstorming with others. Let's say you only have a couple friends. Maybe say, hey, why don't you guys come over and hang out with me and practice with them. Say, let's brainstorm some ideas on businesses. Or let's brainstorm some ideas on how to make extra cash flow. You know, and get them in that mindset. You know, get them going. And before you know it, they might be like, oh no, you gotta meet my Uncle John. Come on, I'll take you over to his house and we're gonna, you're gonna love him, he's gonna love you. This guy's perfect mindsets. And next you know it, you have that next person on your elite crew. Start building your elite crew. And if you have to network 200 people before you find the perfect people for your elite crew, keep going. You never know. You may build something out of this and you may start an entire new group that will change your whole world. You never know. Keep going. Keep building. I'm telling you, when I brainstorm with people, that's when all the creative juices start flowing and I think of new businesses, I think of how to fix business, you know, I think of things, I think of new ways to make money, I'm like, huh, okay, well, if you think we should do this, let's add this to it and see if we can't do it this way. You know, we kind of balance each other out with everything. You got to start doing this. Learn. Oh my goodness, it will change your life dramatically. I mean, it has improved my skills 100% all, ac all across the board. I was so impressed with now when people say, I just don't know where to come up with extra money. And I'm like, ideas are spitting out of my mouth. Your brain starts working in a whole new direction of course you're building little neurons all through there so think of the the healthy patterns you're doing to your brain right now i mean really consider this even if it's just a couple of friends that come over and they usually just hang out at your kitchen table drinking coffee or whatever just to talk and gab usually it's about drama Instead of talking about drama, say, we're changing the day. This is what we're going to do. Here's a pen and a paper for each one of you. We're not going to talk no more about all these drama and gossiping. We're going to start talking about, you know, building businesses and bringing in money and changing our lives. And then do it. I'm telling you, you will be impressed. You will be impressed when you start doing this. And then if they're, they're your true friend, they're going to hang out with you. And they're going to be like, okay, this is good. I needed this. And they're going to sit down and go right along with you. And if they know somebody that's the same wavelength as you, same personality, same mindset, they're going to be like, no, you got to meet Aunt Frida, you know. Everybody calls her Aunt Fred. She's good at this kind of stuff. And then they'll bring that person into the picture. You know what I mean. You're building your network. Let me tell you, it will change your life and it will change the way you think. You will start making better money. You will start getting raises. You will Things will start to happen for you when you start doing this you will see a whole new way of life. I, you'll be learning how to question everything. Well, why did I only get, you know, a 1% raise? I could have made up to a 2.5% raise, but you didn't give that to me, so let's see how I can change that. Can you tell me what I need to do to change that? Because I need a bigger raise. You learn how to negotiate. You learn how to deal. You know, these are the things that will improve your life dramatically. Your brain starts thinking because you're practicing it. 
you're practicing that brainstorming with other people. And then all of a sudden, you're looking for new things. You're going for a car. You're going to buy a car. All of a sudden, you're asking the right questions and you're negotiating. You learn how to, okay, I'm going to bring that down a little bit. <laughs> you know, you'd be surprised what you can get out of life. So my stepdad, love him dearly, I miss him dearly. He knew how to go into any store. It didn't matter if it was Casey's or, or I mean Macy's or Kmart or wherever, Home Depot. He knew how to look for the deals. And he knew how to convince the sales manager or the floor manager how to come down on that price. He was very good about asking questions. And when they couldn't answer them, they're like, well, you know, if I got to do the homework for this, maybe you can give me a discount. And, and you'd be surprised how often it worked. He'd walk out with a brand new freezer. He paid $150 for a $300 freezer. It was just a little one, but I was shocked. It was on a scratch and then, and you know, didn't come without the box because I couldn't find the box. But there was, you know, these different things. He knew how to, to get them to come down. And he was good at brainstorming. He was very good with meeting up with people. He was very good at making sure he went out and networked. He was smart like that. These are things we need to learn. And these are things you need to start doing. So if you want to come network with me, start brainstorming. And let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe to my channel. I would love to see new subscribers on this channel. Thank you guys. Bye.